That's the first lot done. First pile. I've ended up with a nice great big pile of uh, hard work essentially. But I should have done it right the first time. The lesson. Do it right the first time. Nice pile of copper and lead solder. So we're going to get on to the second daisy chain, which has got six in it, so we're over halfway. The first one had seven in it, it was a 13 cell, 13 series pack. <laughs> so we're going to right. I'll cut all these up and get into them and uh, see what happens when we've got a pile of 18650s. We'll uh, work out a set out in these uh, plastic frames I've got here. And, uh, I don't know, maybe even upgrade the size of the bike pack. Let's have a look, we'll have a look into it shortly. After a couple of hours, that's the whole electric bike pack. It's about half the terminations, it's small down there in the Milo tin, coffee tin. But that is all the part. Should be 260 of them there. 130. Can't remember. Anyway, that's it for me. It's only 130 cells. Um, it's 10 packs of 13. Um, yeah, that's that's gone fairly well. Didn't do too much damage to too many of the cells. A few of them had been on fire from when the pack did actually light up that time. Go back through my videos, you'll find it. E bike catches fire, not very fun. But, um, yeah, you should never underestimate the power of an 18650. There's heaps of grunt in them, especially if you get numerous ones shorting out. All right, got some uh, new cells on the tester going again. I need to have a clean up in this front room and uh, set up a new bench just for the uh, tested and done packs so I can group them and put them in boxes or even just in like sections on the bench so that we can uh, get an accurate idea of what kind of cells we've got and how many we've got. Yeah, I did a bit of a time lapse of the first half of pulling this pack apart with the GoPro, I'll see if I can get that up in there as well. Yeah, those two cells are just about to register as charged. 2244 and 2300. That's a, that's a win. They came out of the uh, top of one of these 4 amp hour. That's the top. That's the bottom. It was a 4 amp hour uh, AEG cell. It's uh, plenty of cells left to test. Plenty of cells over there to pull apart and make a nice big. Uh, 18 volt battery. Let's get these ones put away somewhere safe. Ready to remake the bike pack battery. Bigger and better. And uh, yeah, once I've done that, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. When I start, uh, I'm going to order some more of these. I don't actually have enough. These are uh, cell dividers. Get some more of them here and uh, we'll start remaking some packs. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Alright. So the majority of the cells out of the bike pack going in there and then uh, cubed up some of the better ones, the higher capacity ones. There. Two LG ones out of a 5 amp hour Milwaukee battery that are all been tested. A couple that I just tested you've probably seen on the charger earlier. And that big pack. So that pile of cells is my pile of uh, done finished right to go cells. There's another divider there. Don't think I've got many more of them laying around. I think that's about it. But uh, I can just start going in boxes again until I've got uh, enough to do something substantial with all of them. Yeah. 
So now the process of pulling down this high end Milwaukee and uh, AUG cells. I'm seriously considering making a 14 amp hour 18 volt battery out of these three. Because that's a 6. And uh, I've already stripped these ones back ready to be put together. Very nice holders, they don't vibrate, they don't move. Hmm, just a thought. Um, yeah, that's basically what's going on. I clean the bench off now and get it ready for doing some more work and some more filming. Then we're going to go in the bin, I'm off to be recycled actually, I'll take them out to the scrap recycling centre. If I uh, use my 14 amp hour worth of cells there, that's what I should do is keep these that are already in packs. There's another 10 there, so it's 24. Another 8 there. 12. So, you know, there's 36 amps of that in volts. Now I've got 9, 12, no, 42, 45, 48, 51. Uh, I don't know if I want to bother putting all these small cells in there. 51, 54. Now I've got a couple of 1.5 amperes here. But, um, you know, I could have, yeah, 54 amp hour 18 volt battery. It's only a matter of taking the boards off the top of them and, uh, Pruning the wires. Oops. The terminations that come off the wiring there. Up like that and linking them all together. Securing them into a uh, toolbox was the idea. Make a uh, awesome 18 volt power source and buy a eBay cell. Quite powerful. Only about this big. Um, four USB port, multi voltage input, six amp charges. You, so you can run numerous uh, USB things off at a little time. But this freaking thing, Samsung is 6 that just eats batteries. And uh, goes flat real quick when you're recording in HD video. Or playing games. Both of which eat power. GoPros, which never a bad thing to have a uh, extended battery in your GoPro if you want to do a nice time lapse or whatever. Um, there's no point wearing out the batteries in these devices. Like for instance the uh, Samsung S6, you can't pull the battery out. Once it's worn out, it's worn out. Uh, the GoPros, I've got several batteries and some aftermarket ones, but um, if you don't need to take them out of there, why, why bother? If you want to do a time lapse over a whole day of it looking at the sky, well you've got the possibility to do that with a big power bank plugged into it. But anyway. it's all about, we just want to uh, store some energy and unleash it on uh, whatever we feel like doing I reckon it's a good idea to leave them in packs like that but anyway, just more random 18650 thoughts I, uh, I love the batteries as a common rule basically and uh, the, the energy potential inside them is just, just epic Look. 3 amp hour each in there 6 amp battery, it's 108 watt hours. There. 100 watt light globe for an hour. You think about that compared to a uh, old Nycat or whatever. You just can't compare. That old Nycat, 18 volts at uh, 2 amp hour maybe? So that's 36 watt hours. And it's heavier than 108 watt hours of lithium. Lithium batteries are the best. Anyway. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.